Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So imagine you have a problem. Okay, let me rephrase. Take a problem you already have. You spend the time and do the due diligence searching for a resolution to that problem. Let's say for the sake of discussion that problem is of a comparative medium complexity that takes five hours to research and determine that there is no existing solution to your problem. Um, or not a specific solution. Finding odds and ends and bits and pieces of a solution that point in the right direction spread across a number of sources that your idiosyncratic skill set has unearthed. So then you take that five hours and compound it by four, adding an additional 20 hours in total as you pull together a prototype of a solution, test it and reflect on its efficiency and relative suitability to the problem, probably apply some design thinking process, a reader of design. Once satisfied, you share that with colleagues to get their input. As it's a, solu it's a solution to a problem of medium complexity, they spend two hours each and will say for the sake of this case study that there are four of them. Bring the total committed hours worth of thinking and design to 33. And it takes you another five hours to integrate their feedback into the solution that you're happy with and meets an identified need. 38 hours, one week. And this is probably a lowball estimate, but you're correcting the math in your head on as we speak. Then what? Where does the resolution of that work live after it has been designed and implemented for your internal localized instance? How does someone find external to our organization find your localized instance that confronts the same problem of medium complexity to find your solution? How does that someone, if they locate your solution, understand the decision-making processes that brought you to that solution? How do we ensure that the data and information and matrices of choice are clear, available, and quantifiable in an open standard that can capture future evolutions of that solution under a suitable license arrangement? What happens when you realize, after investing the week of development, that someone has already resolved your medium complexity problem, but had not published or shared their learning or solution. This is not entirely hypothetical. We have struck that problem repeatedly and have undoubtedly been that problem for other people. And this has led to an appreciation and in turn commitment to an ongoing documentation process in an open source model of distribution and sharing of intellectual properties. Now we've read at the edge, I should have, my name's Daniel Flood, Creative Manager at the Edge should have opened with that. Um, we have been wrestling with that and have begun initial implementation of a document wiki platform that will not only captures the final developed property, but all the steps in between. The wiki will provide not only access to material, but can also be a platform for an extended community of practice to add, remix, and critique. Presently, we have an evolving prototype used by the Edge program team. It is built on DocuWiki, which was chosen after an extensive survey to find the balance between open source, resource requirement, and scalability. It is the underpinning platform of our creative community computing project, and the findings from that project have been directly fed into the Wiki's development. We're working with ICT to make this resource available to a network of professional practitioners that we as an organization engage with across the sector, so they can benefit from our developments and we can benefit from their input, remixing, and critique. Sharing State Library of Queensland intellectual property with all of Queensland. We're working towards involving all of SLQ in this process, encouraging others to do the same. Creating a decentralised network of practitioners supporting, supported to give their intellectual property back to the community and modelling an example of good open source citizenship. So thank you for your time. <laughs>